But I should probably also say, uh, right now I'm in the Poudre Canyon near a crag called the Sail, which is way, way up there. I was up here not too long ago with a buddy of mine who was doing some rope climbing on a Poudre, uh, Poudre Canyon ultra classic sport route called Tailspin. And if you know it, if you know anything about climbing, it's a 512D or 512C, I think. It's really hard. We were up here just kind of messing around, and when we were at Tailspin, um, we went a little bit further than where that crag is. We found a place called the Sail, which was very, 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 very tall. It was kind of one of those, like, it didn't make sense how tall it was. Everything looked like it was just like a 2D picture because it was, everything was so far away. Ah, oh. I am very quickly finding out I am not in hiking shape. Also, the tripod that I'm holding right now broke literally at, at the car park. So just down there, it broke. I so I have to go all the way up there. Not even just this, I have to go past all of that. But look at this view. Very, very pretty. Oh my God. Uh, okay, so if you look, where is it? Right down there, you can see the river. So I pretty much started down there and I'm still going way up over that that right there straight ahead that wall there that is the crag that I was talking about that uh, some friends and I were at when I found this other place that's kind of the, the two-thirds point so pretty close I'm just very very out of shape which is fantastic also, I don't know if you can see it or not. Let me fix the exposure. That little bit of light right there, that's kind of what I'm not exactly chasing, but that's that's kind of what I was hoping for. There's like a little bit of clouds. Right now they're kind of starting to fade a little bit just because the sun's poking up, starting to burn through them. But if I can get there in time, I might be able to get a little bit of clouds, which would be kind of cool because they're this really like, I don't know how, Thomas Eaton would put it, but fluttery clouds. They're kind of pink, cotton candy looking. I think at this point I'm just stoked my lungs haven't exploded yet. And there it is. That is the sail. And to kind of give you an idea of where I started, that way, way down there, that's the Poudre River. Poudre River. Poudre. That's the river. That right there, way up there. Focus. That's where I'm going. But yeah, once uh, once I get to about this area, I'm gonna put a GoPro on my head and show you guys more or less of what it what it really feels like. Cause this camera won't really, I don't think it'll really catch how, I'm gonna say terrifying it is. But I think a really wide angle GoPro will show a little bit more accurately. And who knows, maybe you can get all in, all nervous too, because I might be. <laughs> There's the sail.
where it just was. Walk along right here. And hold on, I might be able to show you. That's a car. That's me. Alright, well, I think it is just about GoPro time, and I'll see you guys at the top. So, normally I would keep things like gloves on, but because this is kind of chossy and kind of, I don't want to say loose rock, but it has potential to be kind of loose, I'll take my gloves off. I would rather be cold than falling. And with this kind of stuff, if you are climbing this, you really want to make sure you can feel, um, you know, kind of feel what you're grabbing. All right. Let's see if I remember how I got up here last time. Also, let me know in the comments below if this freaks you guys out as much as it freaks me out. Even though I rock climb pretty pretty frequently, I am terrified of heights. Pretty view though. God, I really hope it's not windy up there. I don't think it'll be, but you never know. But this is kind of what I was talking about. Obviously this is a, a big ledge, but this kind of stuff can be anywhere on any of this stuff. So you could be reaching here and it won't be solid. It'll be this kind of stuff. But if you have gloves on, you won't know that until you end up way down there. So if you are gonna do anything like this, make sure you can feel what you're doing. If you start to numb out, stop, hang out where you are for a bit, warm your hands up, and then keep going. How did I do this? Oh my god. Yeah, that's we high up. We are high up. Yeah. Pretty high up. So <laughs> that's the road that it came in on. If you follow that all the way that way, it leads to Fort Collins of Loveland. If you go this way goes all the way up to Walden, Rustic, all that kind of stuff. Can you guys see that? There's there's two cars coming right down there. I don't know if you can see that. Oh my god. This is so high up. I think I'm just gonna chill for a second and I might put my, my puffy on. It's kinda cold up here. I knew it I knew it was gonna be cold. But I didn't think it was going to be windy, which fortunately it's not too windy, but it's still very exposed up here. But I think I'm going to hang out for a second, chill, and figure out my exposure. I think I want to shoot mostly this, but I really like that, uh, that big C shape in the, um, in the road right there. But I'm gonna figure that out and I'll be right back. Please don't fall. 
please don't fall. Oh God. I'm scared of myself falling, obviously, but I feel like I'm pretty good. I feel like I know where to step and where not to step. It's all of this that I'm terrified of dropping. As you can see, I don't, I don't even know if you guys can hear me. The wind's kind of picking up right now, but as you can see, I'm pretty precariously perched. <laughs> Remember when I said I was scared of heights? Yeah, me neither. So I think I found my first composition. I don't know if you can see it, but right here I have the C shape in the road gone all the way through the canyon. Oh, I might put gloves back on now that I'm already up here. Um, but I'm going for a vertical shot right here. I am going to do some panoramas, but I figure the first shot, I should just kind of have a warm-up shot. I do like how the how the road kind of, it's this perfect C shape and the, the way the sun is coming in, it's really lighting up these, uh, these strands of hills right here. I would like if there was some kind of foreground element, but I really don't want to be messing around with all this stuff. Right here, I feel really safe because I have show you. I have this whole bench right here to sit on and kind of lean up against and like I know this isn't going anywhere but all that I'm gonna try to crop in a little bit and just show the road instead of get the ISO down instead of having the, uh, the sun kind of poking through it literally just goes through and just blows out all the highlights Especially in places like this, it's a really good idea to like hold on to your stuff while you're cinching it down or while you're tightening it and slowly take your hand off it. It doesn't matter how many times you've done anything like this. If you're in a place like this, it pays to be safe. Worst case, you kind of feel goofy, um, but you still have all your gear. Also, i probably giving my mom a heart attack by now if she's watching this. Sorry, mom. Uh, okay, I might chance it. I'm gonna chance it. Oh, dude, that's huge. Okay, never mind. God, I don't know why I thought this was way sketchier than it was. I mean, it is, but not as much as I thought it was. Oh, that looks cool. Kind of just looking straight through this bush right here and that rock sticking out right there. You can just see the road. If I can time that right and get a car in there, that'd be sweet. Here comes a car right there. Uh, I just need to wait until he's over here. Cool. Uh, the light's kind of, it's not really going anywhere, but it's, it's kind of fading because of the, there's some cloud coverage right over the, over the canyon wall there. I might just be hanging out here for a minute until that chills out. But that's fine. I'm going to put a polarizer on. Do I dare? Uh, 
I dare. Okay. And again, for this, in a place like this, where it's pretty high risk, high reward, uh, messing around with your with your camera bag, it pays to be able to feel what you're grabbing. So I'm gonna take my gloves off and start digging. Okay, this is gonna be terrifying. Oh God, don't fall. All right, cool. There we go. Oh, hey, the sun's back out. Sweet. It's kind of iffy about where to stand. Boy, howdy. So now for what I hope to be the main event. I'm gonna try to take a panorama from over here where the road kind of sneaks into the canyon. Follow it all the way to where the road sneaks around that can or that part of the canyon. I really like this tree right here kind of right in the middle of the way. So with this, I really don't want to have a wide open aperture just because I want everything to be sharp and uniform to make sure that I don't get any weird focusing, clipping, anything, any kind of artifacts like that. Now I'm at F8, ISO 400 and one one hundredth of a second. Uh, right about 18 millimeter on a crop sensor. I have no idea if that worked, but I hope it did. Oh, cool, birds. Okay, so as you can probably see, the wind is starting to pick up. So I'm gonna get these shots and absolutely dip. I do not want to be up here when it gets really wet. Oh God, there it is. Oh, thank God the wind stopped. Holy Christ, that was, I'm not gonna lie. I, I was like kind of moderately spooked for a little bit, but that huge gust of wind, it was coming from that way. So it was kind of, you know, I think that might be it, but that's definitely it for me up here. I think I'm, I think I'm good. I'm gonna start packing up. I'll see you guys right down there. All right. Right now, the one thing that's really um, getting me excited, because honestly, that up there was pretty cool. I didn't get the film bracketing that I was hoping for, but I feel like I might have gotten a pano that I was at least moderately happy with. But the thing that right now I'm very, very stoked about is about a quarter mile that way, I have some coffee that is possibly still kind of warm. So that'd be nice. Let's go this way. Um, this way. It is really pretty up here. 
Oh, that was a stretch. Cool. So that was the sale. Sick. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see stuff that I shoot throughout the week or throughout the month. I appreciate you guys a lot. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.